This week's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to talk about some Subaru tools. We have here a collection of tools sent to me by ASF Machine. These are EJ uh, series engine specific tools. We have a front seal install tool for the front crank seal. We have a cam seal install tool. Uh, specifically, it is for the EJ25D dual overhead cam, but I believe it will work on other uh, Subaru cylinder heads as well. And we have our rear seal installer tool for our rear main seal on the back of our crankshaft. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to unbox the three tools we've got here, uh, go over a little bit of them, show them off, and then uh, we're going to do a live demo on this junk engine I've got, this old EJ22 with a big gaping hole through the block. We're going to use our tool to install a new crank seal, uh, a new rear main seal, and we're going to put a new cam seal on our uh, EJ25D head that I have as a demo. So let's get into it. Starting off, we have our ASF machine rear seal install tool for the EJ series engines. This should as well work on EZ series engines because they all have the same size um, rear main seal. Uh, very high quality tool here. It is uh, machined out of, I believe, billet aluminum. Uh, made in Colorado. Love some made in USA tools. But uh, nice, nicely machined piece. Got the engraving here with the part number, uh, their website, and their logo. We have our front seal install tool. So looking at our front seal tool here, uh, another nicely machined uh, tool looks like billet aluminum again. I uh, have our part number at the top, made in Colorado, ASF machines uh, name on the bottom. And if we look on the inside, we even have a relief cut here for to clear our Woodruff key on the front of our crankshaft. And final tool is our cam seal install tool. Once again, nice bit of aluminum uh, machined piece. Uh, part number, ASF Machines logo, made in Colorado once again. And uh, all around, very impressive tools. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into our demos now, installing some seals on uh, the prop block and uh, prop head I've got here, and uh, see how they perform. So we're going to start by installing our front crank seal. Uh, have our new crank seal right here. This is actually the old seal I removed. Uh, hate to use a brand new seal on a junk engine, so since this is just for demonstrational purposes, and I was able to remove the seal uh, fairly easily without any damage or very much damage, we're going to go ahead and use that for our uh, install here. So to start, we're going to take a little bit of oil and uh, lube up the inside lip of our seal and the outside of our crankshaft. Now once that's all set, we're going to set our seal here on the end of our crankshaft and try to center it up as best as we can. Then we're going to take our crank seal install tool, aligning the uh, piece here for our Woodruff key and uh, sliding that over. And then we're going to take our crank bolt and put our crank bolt inside of our install tool and thread it into the end of the crankshaft. Now we're just going to turn her on in.
we're feeling a little bit of resistance there, so we're going to go ahead and back our crank bolt out. And there we have our uh, nice and flush installed front crank seal. Have no damage to the seal whatsoever, no having to beat it in, no having to get your hammer in there and find a socket big enough to uh, beat around this outside perimeter of this seal. You don't have to worry about it going sideways on you or uh, giving you any kind of issues whatsoever. Uh, so this is a great tool to have, especially when you're changing your uh, timing belt set in your engine. Uh, you can simply slide this right down in the engine bay. You don't have to worry about clearing, uh, getting clearance past the radiator or the uh, front of uh, or the AC condenser and swinging a hammer to uh, beat that seal in. You can simply uh, tighten up the crank bolt and cinch her right in and installed perfectly. So big thumbs up on this one. Now we're going to move on to our rear main seal. So now we're moving on to the back side of our engine and we're going to install a new rear main seal using our ASF machine rear main seal tool installer. So as before with the front crank seal, we're going to put some fresh engine oil around the perimeter of our crankshaft, give it a nice lube up so we uh, don't damage the lip on our rear main seal when installing it. Get that all coated and we're going to take and add some oil to our inner lip of our rear main seal as well and move that all around. All right, so put our rear main seal in place and square her up as good as we can. And then we're going to take our install tool and we're going to take four of our flywheel bolts. And we're going to put our tool up against our rear main seal. We're going to snug up these flywheel bolts. Probably would be helpful to have a couple of washers to put between our flywheel bolts and our tool so as not to uh, scratch up our nice install tool. So we've got all of our bolts snugged up hand tight. We're centered up in the back here. So now all we've got to do is take a 14 millimeter socket and turn these in in a crisscross pattern uh, equal amount until we've got her fully installed. So we're just going to go around the perimeter just like this, and tighten up our bolts and as we do this we're going to pull that new crank seal right in there and it's going to be nice and even install nice and straight. I don't have to worry about tearing up our seal, trying to beat and bang on it. If you have to uh, do a clutch job and you can't drop your transmission, you just pulled your engine and uh, transmission apart far enough where you can reach in and get your uh, pressure plate and your flywheel and everything out of the way. This would be a great tool to have to be able to reach down or reach up and install your rear main seal while you're in there in case you don't have room 
to swing a hammer and drive a new sail in. But as we're turning this down, continue little by little, as even as possible in a crisscrossing pattern as we're going, so that we draw this thing in nice and even. And we're just about there. Coming down to the home stretch now. And I think with that, I think we've bottomed our tool out on our crankshaft. And I think we are good now to pop our bolts back out and remove our tool. And we should have a perfectly installed new rear main seal on the back side of this engine. And there we are, just beautiful. Got that new rear main seal installed perfectly. And with that, we're gonna move on to our cam seal install. And moving on to our final tool, our cam seal install tool. As before, we will oil up the outside of our camshaft and also oil the inner lip of our new cam seal. We'll slide our new cam seal down over our camshaft. Get it in started as even as possible by hand. We will take our cam seal install tool, slide it over the end of our camshaft. Uh, the factory cam pulley bolt is not long enough to engage the tool. You will have to find a larger bolt for this application but as before you will screw in your uh, bolt into the end of your camshaft and simply tighten it up to drive in your cam seal Nice and bottomed out. We'll back our bolt back out and remove our tool. And just like that, we have our new installed cam seal, nice and flush, all the way around even and ready to put this cylinder head back together and go on our car. And so there we go. Nice rundown of our ASF machine uh, seal install tools, our 
cam seal, front crank seal, and rear crank seal tool. Big thanks once again to ASF Machine for so kindly sending me these tools. I greatly appreciate it. I uh, wish uh, that I'd had these tools uh, much earlier on. They are extremely helpful and I will be sure to get lots of use out of them in the future. If you would like to purchase your own uh, set of these tools, I will put a link in the description below where you can go and purchase these for yourself. Uh, so once again, thank you ASF Machine. Thank you viewers for watching and I will see you in the next video.